How you doing? Just me, so we're quick and easy. Hopefully. Still on. <laughs> Obviously, the game it's you know, in the cup that come at a good time, having this cup competition is a bit of a distraction from the league. Uh, yeah, I think it's always uh, good to to get a cup game when you know the the league form hasn't been what we would like, but it uh, gives us an opportunity to to hopefully go on a, a cup run, and that can can coincide with, with galvanising the form in the league. What do you expect from Fisher? Because it won't be an easy game. No, it won't be. We've we've prepared as as we always would uh, in terms of analysing them, watching their games. We were fortunate we played them earlier on in the season, a cup game that we can review and look over that again. And the players are prepared as as they would be for any league game, and know what their strengths are, know their weaknesses, and it's up to us to to go out and perform and make sure we get a result. You obviously, brought in our striker yesterday. That takes you up to four in the squad. What can you offer? You? He's not played much first team football. A couple of games at FC United, and obviously you've team at Blackburn. Yeah, I think he's one that we had on trial, and he's he's more a, a kind of longer term signing. He's more uh, experience, but I think with the different attributes he has, he can add to uh, a growing uh, kind of number in that position that, that can help us and give us different variation up front. Obviously, Chris Erickson's left the club during the week. You spoke last week about giving the opportunity to do the right thing. He wasn't playing games, and is that kind of what happened with Livingston? They came in, he wasn't playing games here, and he's, and he's left the club. Yeah, like I said, he's somebody that you know this club will always kind of love, and and he's always welcome back here, and the fans will always hold him in a great affinity. Uh, but football moves on, and we have to make I have to make these decisions uh, for the good of the club. Um, we wish Chris all the best at, at Livingston. Another player, Solomon Kulibaly, is obviously almost fit. He tweeted last weekend, probably not the best thing to do about he'll play when the manager lets me. What's an update on that situation? An update is his tweet was wrong. Uh, he's uh, he's training hard. He's getting fit. He's not fully fit, uh, but he'll be on the bench tomorrow and and ready to go. How frustrating is that as a modern day manager when you have social media and players maybe going to them when you shouldn't go to it? I think it's happened with a former player as well this week, Jack Story as well. How frustrating is that as a manager? I think we've seen this week that Twitter uh, can can bring on a whole new level of. A crazy world that we live in in the modern world, but uh, I don't get involved in it. It's it's a younger person's game. I'm on it, but I've tended to not tweet so much. So uh, it is what it is. I have to deal with it. Uh, but Solomon Koulibaly is not a hundred percent to start, but he will be on the bench tomorrow. In terms of other players who've been had injury problems, Thomas Aware's one. Is there an update on him? Is he getting closer to coming back? Yeah, he's somebody that's working extremely hard in the gym. Uh, he's been a great help. As, as a squad member and helping uh, the, the team in and around the place in terms of morale uh, so that, that's been good to, to have him for that but he's, he's working really hard in the gym and, and we'll get him back as, as soon as we can and he will come back quick because of the, the work ethic that he's shown Obviously the last two games you took the lead and then get pinned back which is obviously extremely frustrating as a manager but are you seeing positives that the team has improved and getting the new players are coming in getting used to it and is the light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, definite. I think everyone that's been to those games and seen those games can see uh, the the energy we have in the team, uh, the way we've we've kind of started games and, and put teams on the back foot. And uh, now it's just changing that mindset when we go a goal in front to to keep playing the same way, to keep pushing for another goal rather than resting in what we have. And uh, once we do that, then then we'll get that victory that will will lead to more victories. And lastly, it's also a big meeting last night between referees and. And managers, also, you were frustrated last weekend. What do you think can, they can do? So there's a better dialogue between referees and managers and referees and supporters, even, that to explain their decisions? I think have dialogue would be a start and have this communication and not have the, you know, when the, when you go to speak to them, they, they then go really tense and, and it creates a conflict. And obviously managers at that time are very emotional and, I don't know whether they have a, a cooling off period and just you can go to their office or something or even if they kind of publicly said why their decisions were made it, it maybe helped but uh, something needs to be done because too many decisions are, are wrong and, and you don't know the exact reasoning for those decisions which then makes you even more frustrated Cheers Gary, thanks All the best for tomorrow Thank you Cheers Yeah, no problem Cheers George